today the first of june uh, 2023 remember guys to like share comment and follow so guys zimbabwe on tuesday called on the united states embassy to refrain from its interfering in its electoral process after the letter posted several election related messages on twitter on may 26 the acting permanent secretary for foreign affairs and international trade rofina chikawa meet with the charge of affairs for the u.s embassy airline french to voice zimbabwe's disapproval of the u.s interference following the meeting ministry of foreign affairs and international trade levit mugejo released the statement it reads uh, today the 3rd of may uh, 2023 at 14 30 hours the acting permanent secretary for foreign affairs and international trade ambassador Rofina Chikawa meet with the charge the affairs of, for the U.S. Embassy in Harare, Miss Elaine French. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Trade summoned the charge the affairs after the U.S. Embassy issued several election related social media posts via Twitter on May 26, 2023. The most notable post was captioned Register to Vote and make sure your voice is heard among other tweets which had been made a few days before during the meeting with miss ellen french ambassador chikawa and underscored government's commitment towards holding a peaceful free and fair election in line with his excellency president Idim nangagwa's clarion call ambassador chikawa took the opportunity to highlight zimbabwe's preparations for the harmonized elections this include voter registration and education, the limitation of constituencies and wards, and the ongoing inspection of the voters' role in line with the country's constitution. Despite Zimbabwe's strong commitment towards holding a peaceful, free, and fair election, Ambassador Chikawa, however, expressed concern over the mission's elections related social media posts bordering on activism and meddling in Zimbabwe's inter internal affairs. Ambassador Chikawa said the conduct by the U.S. Embassy was unacceptable as it is diverted from conventional diplomatic norms and values enshrined in the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations 1961. The ministry also called on the U.S. Embassy to refrain from posting such messages in the spirit of re-engagement between our, our two countries. In a response, the U.S. charged the affairs Ms. Elaine French acknowledged government's concerns, said the mission's commitment to improve its communication in line with expected diplomatic conduct. She further expressed optimism in the continued collaboration between Zimbabwe and the U.S. Zimbabwe views the U.S. as an important cooperating partner in its development goals in line with the engagement and re-engagement policy. And so guys, that's the latest here. So, uh, permanent secretary, acting permanent secretary uh, for foreign affairs and international trade, uh, Ambassador Rofina Chikawa, Wagato Muka Makusen, Wagato Yenda, Mwosangana na Elaine French, with the US Embassy, because of some tweets. Just imagine, because of some tweets. But anyway, uh, this is a daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Man Entertainment TV. Thank you for listening, thank you for watching. Remember guys to like, share, comment and follow. Never got all the mass sanctions. Tweets, tweets, tweets. I mean, for you, come on guys. We have so many pressing issues other than my tweets. But anyway, I pa jaga pa jaga kato wala US Embassy. Vayam kukuru zira wa nuti. Vayam de wano register ku vota. Makwane se wakare kuni wana mastao mu vota asro. And yes, jungo kukuru zira wana munu yese. But I do understand where the ministry is coming from. That uh, the U.S. embassy is yes, every embassy uh, is not supposed to be interfering with our local politics and uh, yes. So daily news, breaking news, everyday news. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching, guys. Bless up.